Hi everyone, today we'll be learning about pop art. So, what is pop art and who is a person, who's the artist that we're going to be talking about? Okay, so today's artist is actually Andy Warhol and we're going to look at some of his famous artworks. Okay, so who is Andy Warhol? Andy Warhol is actually a printer and uh, uh, he used to do a lot of artworks based on screen printing and most of his works used a lot of reputation. So what was so difficult about repeating, uh, repeating artworks last time was he had to do his artwork on a screen and then keep repeating it over and over again to make the same artworks in many forms. So he had a couple of uh, famous artworks um, that were very popular in his time, which is why his uh, art movement is called pop art, which means popular art. All right. So Andy Warhol is part of pop art. Okay, and uh, he was born as Andrew Wahola in 1928 in Pennsylvania. His first job was uh, illustrating, uh, illustrating adverts in fashion magazines. So a lot of his famous artworks were like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, he's, he's even done artworks about Mickey Mouse and a lot of other stuff that are very popular at that point of time. So if you look at one of his artworks here, okay, this is his uh, popular food art uh, based on Campbell's soup packaging. It's the same soup. Do you realize it's all tomato soup? But it's all in different colors because one, one time he does the print, he will change the colors and then he'll keep repeating the same print over and you keep changing the colors. So today, we're actually going to be doing a little bit like that. Our artwork is going to be a repeated work. Only thing is, we have to keep drawing the same piece of work. And the theme that we are going to be drawing on is food. Okay? So... Now, what kind of food do you like? For me, I actually like to eat a lot of uh, um, cake or cupcakes. So I'm going to be drawing cupcakes. But before we start on cupcakes, we're going to be dividing the paper. Okay, fold the paper into half this way. Okay. Fold your paper into half. So it looks like a very long rectangle. And then again, Fold your paper into three parts. For this part, you have to estimate a little bit. Okay? Don't need to be so precise, but if you can be precise, it would be good. Okay? Roughly estimate. You would get a small square like that. Okay, once you get the square, open up your piece of paper. Okay? You should be able to see six boxes. Now, once you have done that, okay, take a long ruler or a regular ruler. Use a pencil. You can use a mechanical pencil or a regular pencil like mine. Just draw out the line that you see, okay? So, I'm going to draw this line here. And then, the lines over here. So, do you see your six boxes now? Alright. So, like I said, we'll be drawing food. So, you can draw any kind of food. A piece of pizza, an apple, banana. Okay, I am planning to draw a cupcake. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start by drawing the cream first. And then the cherry on top and the cupcake. Don't worry, just draw what you know, okay? You can even copy mine, okay? I'm going to draw it six times, alright? So, again, I'm going to draw the cream. Of course, it's going to be very hard for it to all look the same, but we're going to try, okay? Cherry and the cake. I 
Are you also drawing yours? My last cupcake. Ready? Aha! I'm done with all my six cupcakes. Now, next we'll be using crayons. And remember, like in his artwork, everything is colorful so you don't need to be so worried about what color you want to use except don't use black try not to use black use any other color but black and i will tell you why later okay if you see i've already completed coloring five uh, cupcakes i'm going to finish up on my last one okay now spend some time coloring don't rush your work too slowly Okay, make sure you fill up all the white spots. Have you noticed I've actually changed color for all of my cupcakes, uh, except for uh, the cherry. The cherry is all red, and uh, alternative cupcakes are chocolate, and the other cupcakes are are in a different shade of brown. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is, if you notice, I did not use any black, alright? Now, I'm going to be using black to do outlining. But before I do outlining, we need to colour the background. So, I'm just going to show you one, and the rest of it, you will continue on your own. Try to uh, pick up a background that you have not used for any of the other colours, so that you can play around with as many colours as you can. So for over here, I'm thinking my cupcake is already so dark. It's a dark red. I should go for a very light toned yellow. Okay. So I'm going to go for this yellow. Okay. Just color the background. Okay, try not to go too near the cupcake. If not, you're going to end up picking up some of the red and then it will start, you know, blending into your background. So color carefully. Okay. And now yellow is such a light color, so you will tend to very easily smudge. So you must be very careful. Okay, quite happy with the yellow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, now I'm going to use black to do my outlining. Okay, so this is the part you need to uh, pay attention a little bit. Okay, do it slowly. Don't rush black. Okay. Black is a great way to bring up your drawing. Okay. So if you notice the minute I add black, Okay, your drawing becomes very, very rich and colourful. Alright, and then you've got the cherry. Ah, there you go. Okay, you can 
continue that with all your other cupcakes. Okay, hope you had fun drawing.